Welcome back to the ORCAD X layout tutorial series. We are close to the finish. And in this video, what we're going to be looking at is some of the 3D views available that you can use for reviewing your board, as well as the markup and comment options available, especially if you're reviewing with other users. So let's jump right in. We're not gonna have a board file for this section of the video, mostly because we're not making any changes to the board. We're just looking at a couple different ways that we can view it and review our board. Let's look at the 3D options first. In the visibility pane, this third tab at the top here under display has a mode for 2D and 3D. Go ahead and select 3D and you will see the 3D view of your board. By default, if you click on one on your keyboard or two or three, these are just some hotkeys for the different visibility options while in 3D mode. You can also access them by clicking on this little box icon in the bottom left. And you can see the different views as well as their hotkeys on the right side here. So if we want to look at the top isometric view, you can click uh, 7 to get to that view. Now, by default, while in this 3D display mode, you have some sliders for basic opacity of things like your etch layers, your silk screen solder mask layers. You can move those sliders around until you find something that meets your needs to review. For example, if you want to be able to see the traces on your board, you probably want to reduce the opacity of the solder mask layer, which is traditionally above your copper layers. Likewise, the opacity of things like 3D models and DFA boundaries, that can also be adjusted through the slider here. Now, another thing that you also have access to once you're in the 3D view is this new tab here called Component. What this allows you to do is manage the opacity of each component individually or whether or not it is shown on your board. So for example, if I want to hide this U7 from the top components, I can either search in here U7 or I can scroll down and jump to U7 click the eye icon and hide it on my 3D canvas. Here I can maybe inspect to make sure that all of the vias are coming through as I would expect them to. If instead I just want to change the opacity, I can click on this little box and that'll change it to a uh, sort of see-through mode. If I want to select multiples, I can shift click, do a right click, and then select either transparent, show or hide just like you can in the other visibility options. And then finally, if you don't have 3D models, you can also turn on either models from your place bounds or your DFA bounds. And this works a lot better if you also have height attributes defined for all these components, then these will automatically be defined based on the height. One other thing that's pretty neat that you can do in the 3D view is if you go into this layers view, you can turn on your dielectrics layer. The bar at the bottom will allow you to turn off your dielectric layers, and then you can also turn off your silkscreen and solder mask layers and just be left with your copper layers. So you can, for example, look at all of the copper etch in a 3D sort of mesh view how much you can discern out of this might depend on the user, but some might find this helpful, especially if you're trying to, for example, see if you're working with microvias or all of my microvias stacked correctly or something like that. To turn all of these back on, you can simply just click the eye icon here that will turn all of them on or all of them off. And then one more thing that you can also change is there's some additional color themes. You can turn on cross-section color, which uses the colors of your 2D view and displays that in the 3D view. I just like to use the material color personally. Also, if you have multiple stack ups, if you're working in a flex design or a rigid flex, you can select the stack ups through here. Okay, when you're done, simply switch to the 2D mode. And now let's take a look at the different markup options that we have for our reviews. Let's take a case where, for example, this trace is going through this. This is a route keep out.
And if we hover over this DRC, it'll say uh, line to route keep out spacing. If maybe you're not the person that's in charge of doing the layout, you're just doing review and you want to leave a comment for another user, you can do so by going to at the top here, this markup option and select a new comment, add a comment here. Hey, I was looking at the board and noticed that your trace runs through a route keep out. Please fix. And go ahead and select this to draw a rectangle. Draw a rectangle around that section. And then go ahead and click Submit. Now there will be a, if we're in this comments panel on the right side, now there will be this uh, comment written by me that says, hey, I was looking blah, blah, blah. And it will have this little icon here where I can bring up a screenshot of the canvas at the time that the comment was submitted so that the user can see what I'm referring to. Likewise, when they click on this, if this is deselected, when they click on the comment, it'll put that yellow box around here to give them an indication of where that issue is. I can also add comments or mentions. I can say, hey, this is fine. I will fix ASAP and submit a comment. And this will be tracked throughout your design process for each user that is participating in the layout of this board file. Now, once this is done and resolved, let's say that we move this trace again. So we wanna to go to assisted mode. There we go. Let's say that this is now resolved. What I can do is in this comments section, click on the more options and then select resolve. And then the issue will be resolved and it'll say by who, at what time. And then as you're working on more markup, you can add additional comments. You can toggle the markup visibility if you have multiple markups on a board. So that is it for the 3D views and options, as well as markup in Orchid X layout. In the next video, we're going to look at some options for silk screening before we get ready to manufacture our board. Thanks for watching.